The informed consent process is a very important ethical step in a clinical investigation, prepared by the sponsor, reviewed and implemented by the investigator, while the monitor is responsible to verify the investigation site personnel is complying with all the requirements of the process. There are basic principles that apply when conducting an informed consent process. These are outlined in an identical manner in three regulatory documents, the Declaration of Helsinki, 21 CFR Part 50, and ISO 14155, as well as regulations in national languages. The sponsor and his designated monitor must ensure that during the process the following requirements are applied. The informed consent process must be performed by the principal investigator or his or her trained authorized designee. Information about all aspects of the clinical investigation must be included so that the subject can make a decision to participate or not. The wording of the informed consent and any other actions that may be performed by the site personnel can in no manner result in correction of the subject or undue influence on the subject's willingness to participate in the clinical investigation. No wording can be such that it waives the subject's legal rights. The language must be understandable to the subjects. So, translations into the national language is mandatory, and special attention needs to be paid to use non-technical language only. Imagine that the baker on the street, or a grandmother with no medical or technical education, must be able to understand what is explained in the informed consent, and what is required. Ethics committees and institutional review boards will pay close attention to this, and they frequently make comments concerning this point and request changes to the wording.